The key to running a country is to first enrich the people. This is classic Chinese wisdom. And Chinese President Xi Jinping quoted this while delivering a speech on poverty alleviation. And he stressed during the 20th National Congress of the Communist Party of China that Chinese modernization should lead to common prosperity for all. Why has China always placed enriching the people as a top priority? First, let's hear what prosperity means to Chinese farmers. <laughs> These are the beekeepers from Miwing, a northeast suburb of Beijing and its largest honey producing base. Miwing has a history of over 300 years of beekeeping, but now a new way of raising bees is being introduced to bring the industry to a whole new level. Professor Gurbani, hello. Hello. You know, one young man is trying to introduce or is taking the lead to make it even better and sell more. Oh, really? Wow. Shall we find out his story? Yes, yes, please. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is Liu Jingliang, China's first beekeeper to successfully practice multi-box beekeeping. What is this technique and how does it improve a bee farmer's income?这个蜂巢大概两百多箱现在咱们中央体市一个朝香这一个季香两个季香这就三层这是最少的咱们原来传统的方式只有两层看看这箱蜂怎么样具体上密到啥样还不知道啊你看像这样蜂盖的这个
But in, in the story of Liu Jingliang, how do you see the approach of uh, achieving common prosperity? So this goes back to what we management we call expanding the pie. If he tries to make everybody else grow with him, price of honey from his region is going to become higher and higher. So that pie is going to expand and that's the common prosperity, the meaning of common prosperity. La prioridad de un gobierno debe de, debe de ser buscar la prosperidad de su gente. تأكيد الصين هي رائدة في هذا المجال لأن استطاعت أن تحول الكتلة السكانية الضخمة من عبء إلى مورد اقتصاد. في كتاية سجل هناك حرارة بغاورة أن لقد أعطى الشخص أدوات من الرب. لذلك هنا تحسين الأمور هي أدوات التي يمكن أن يعطى الشخص أدوات من الرب. ثم هنا الشخص في مساعدة الشخص أو في مساعدة الرب. هذا الشخص يمكن أن يعطى الشخص أدوات من الرب. السوسياليزم مع خصائصه الصينية هو مثال لدى الأوكسيدين. Nos muestra cómo no es posible avanzar y hacer próspera una nación si no se tiene en cuenta a cada uno de sus ciudadanos.